it would really give a lot of weight to your resume that the user should be able to interact with the endpoints uh, that you create right one key thing is that maintaining their profile here becomes uh, incredibly necessary right Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Coding Ninjas. My name is Ankush and in this video we're going to discuss upon a very interesting topic that is seven web development project ideas, right? So I have divided this video into three parts. Basically, first we are going to discuss beginner level projects, right? Then we'll discuss intermediate level projects and then we'll finally discover boss level projects that you can make that will actually pad up your resume and make you look like a hero in front of every company or your friends or recruiters, right? So without further ado, let's jump in this video. So let's first begin with the beginner level projects that you can make, right? So a beginner level project should be basic, right? It should not be complex and it can be a single page application and it should have one to two features, right? So there are different types of beginner level projects that you can make. And the first type I would suggest is a game, right? So why game, right? A game I suggest as a uh, project because it's fun to play it's hell of fun to play and like if you're in your first or second year and you can actually uh, pad it up on your resume uh, and it would look cool right so if you host the game basically and if someone tries to open it uh, they would be like in more than uh, enough inclined to play that game right and they might find it amazing and it would really set up a good impression right so that's why i always suggest that a game as a beginner project would be a really great start right because they're addictive and they're fun to play and everybody uh, would at least try your game once right so different types of games that you can make uh, includes rock paper scissors it can be a snakes game or it can be a tic-tac-toe game right uh, basically it's to start your development journey right so you can definitely look at games as a beginner level project and the second i would suggest is a calculator right so you can like basically again you can have a calculator with one to two features like one feature can be that you uh, can do all the mathematic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division finding remainders or stuff like that also you can add some cool stuff like calculating loans or calculating emis right stuff like that or maybe uh, calculating the tip on the meal that you have paid based on the percentage of tip that you want to give right so a calculator can be another beginner level project that when you're starting in your development journey right then you can surely have a look at it right so game and uh, calculators are the two beginner level projects that i would really suggest that you can uh, build on your own so let's talk about the intermediate pro level project right so what should an intermediate level project have right so it should have two three features right and it should be interactive in the sense that the user should be able to interact with the endpoints uh, that you create right so to do that you can use some external api right uh, i'll discuss various apis that you can use in this section or you can make your own mini api or you can like dabble with django or node.js or express.js to see how the server side programming uh, works right it can be basic right but you should at least try to dabble with what an api is and how to use it in your client side right so the first would be building like a nasa app right so basically there is a nasa api that is public right and it gives you data about uh, astronomy space weather or moon mars different planets basically right so you can definitely check it out and you can create a bunch of endpoints that your users can interact with and it would be really cool right so nasa api is public so you can definitely check it out and it would be a great project as an intermediate level project so the next uh, project can be making a movie app basically you can use the movie db api right it helps you with a lot of stuff like it gives you data on different tv shows different movies cast of those movies and various actors and all right so you can definitely check out the movie db api and make a movie app out of it right which basically can be something like a netflix or hotstar app and basically you can have uh, the users be able to search movies write their uh, see their reviews and a lot of stuff. it really depends on your imagination but you should at least since it is an intermediate level project you should try to add two to three features and so that the users can interact with it and it is fun right so and it should also have a proper layout right so and the third can be web chat app basically a video chat app to do that you can use the webrtc api right it is used for peer-to-peer -peer connection and it is really cool like building something like a zoom clone or uh, basically a teams clone using that api it's really cool so you can build your own infrastructure around it where basically uh, two people can have a video call or even chat right so that's uh, really cool for an intermediate level project right so you can try any of these three projects and it would actually look good for all years of students right it would really give a lot of weight to your resume and you would learn learn a lot while building these projects right so to summarize uh, intermediate level projects would be building like a nasa app or a movie app or making a, a video chat app or web chat app uh, using the webrtc api 
right so these are all the intermediate level projects so let's finally come to the boss level projects and like these are the projects that actually distinguish an amateur from a professional right even one of these projects is enough to make you stand out from others right so these and these would take time right these would take a considerable amount of your time to make right and there is a minimum criteria for boss level projects that i have kept that first it should be interactive right second it should have multi pages like multiple pages earlier you would have seen that i'm talking about that your application can be single page right you should be focused more on how to develop it right but in a boss level projects the minimum criteria is that it should be multi page it should have a proper layout right and it should at least have cred operations right cred operations basically mean create read update delete right it should have all of these operations and adding authentication would also be nice right so the first boss level project that i would suggest is an e-commerce app right so something like amazon or flipkart right so here you should uh, at least see that people can register and log in themselves right there should be a list of products in a categorical manner and there should be filters so that people can actually you know how you see that you can sort by price from low to high or high to low or based on like most popular or most ordered stuff like that right and people should uh, also be able to add those products to their cart or remove products from their cart if they don't want right you should have all these functionalities and definitely for brownie points you can add a payment gateway like using razorpay so that would actually take it to even next level like adding these functionalities are must in a boss level project so an e-commerce app is definitely that you can look at right and these carry the real weight right these are really really cool when you complete these projects on the other side you will emerge as a better developer than you were before right so that's why these are boss level projects and the second boss level projects or the last project for this video uh, if you have been counting till now would be a social media app right like facebook instagram snapchat and there are so many right so basic so, uh, social media apps should have like again users should be able to register themselves and they should be able to log in themselves and one key thing is that maintaining their profile here becomes uh, incredibly necessary right they should be able to change their username their passwords or their profile pictures right stuff like that uh, you also need to add a functionality of posting pictures and on those pictures you need to add the functionality of likes comment shares right as you see in this uh, today's world social media apps right uh, implementing the comment feature would be a challenge on its own and you will learn so much during this whole process right so posting pictures uh, maintaining the state of the account like site right? and these would take a lot of time right but as i said before for the e-commerce up you would emerge as a great developer on the other side and like additional brownie points feature would be like adding the features for adding friends right uh, that would also take a lot of business logic right so you can definitely make a social media app as a boss level project right so to summarize uh, the boss level projects are what distinguish you from the crowd and i would recommend making either an e-commerce app and social media app and mind that all the categories that i have mentioned till now you only need to make one one uh, from each category right uh, you don't need to make all seven of projects you can decide from a list of projects that i've given right so to reiterate right for beginner level projects you can either make a game it can be tic tac toe snakes game or rock paper scissors you can make calculators that are functionality like to calculate emi loan uh, tips or even like the basic arithmetic operations right then we come to intermediate level projects right uh, where you can make a nasa app or a movie app or a web chat app or a web video call app right and then in boss level projects you can either make a e-commerce app or a social media app right so these are the different projects that you can make do try these out right uh, you will definitely learn something from some level obviously right so that was it for this video my name is ankush and if you like this video do like this video do comment on it and do share it with your friends so that they, they can also make such amazing projects and subscribe to the youtube channel of coding ninjas my name is ankush and i'll see you in the next one